folks, welcome to Vector Calculus. A vector onto another vector. You've seen the formulas, the boards, and the books, but have you ever really been able to visualize it, to touch it, to see it, to feel it? I want to change that. Today I've got two vectors. Here's my first one and here's my second one. Uh, you can imagine them as kind of rulers. Here's my vector and here's my second vector at some angle to my first. Now, here's the thing, here's the thing. I want to find the projection of my first vector, and I want to find the projection of that vector A onto my second vector B. In other words, I want to find the proj of my vector A onto vector V. What is that projection going to be? Well, first we have to understand what we actually mean when we say projection. You see, when I say I want to find the projection of A onto B, I mean how much of vector A is going in the direction of vector B. But here's another way to think of it. Imagine there was a street lamp on top of vector A, and it was shining down on vector A. Well, it would shine down in just the right way so that a bit of the light would pop up here. And that bit of the light would be the shadow of this vector A onto vector B. So when we say projection, we're really talking about shadows. But you don't have to think about it. You don't have to imagine it. Here it is. This is a 100 milliwatt laser classified as a weapon here in the US, but today we're only using it for educational purposes. If I screw off the lid over here so that the light is not too focused, otherwise it would be blinding, then I can shine it from above vector A, almost like a street lamp, right? And what do you think is gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Well, what's gonna happen is the projection, the shadow of vector A is gonna pop up on vector B. Let, let's check it out, enough talk. And there you go. That right there is the projection of vector A onto vector B. Now, look at that closely and you'll realize something of major importance, right? This projection itself is a vector. That projection itself was a vector, right? This was the projection we were looking for, proj B A. And just like any vector, this projection has a magnitude and a direction. But how do we find that magnitude and direction? That's what we're gonna change. All right, so here's the deal. I got my vector B right here and my vector A right here. Of course, I wanna find the projection of my vector A onto B, which is gonna look something like this vector, this vector. Let's call my projection vector U, uh, just for the time being. Now, 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 how can we find this projection vector? Well, like any vector, it's gonna have some magnitude and some direction, right? So how do we find that magnitude and that direction? Well, here's something you can use to your advantage. This theta here, this cosine theta right here. So we can say cosine of this angle theta is gonna be adjacent, what's that adjacent here? That's gonna be the magnitude of u over, what's my hypotenuse? Well, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we can also use the dot product cosine definition, which says that the cosine of theta is gonna be the dot product of what and what? Of a and b over the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. Set these two things equal to each other. What do you get? What do you get? Well, you're going to get the magnitude of U over the magnitude of A is equal to A dot B over the magnitude of A times the magnitude of B. And we're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost there. These two guys drop out. They cancel out. And so we're left with the magnitude of U, which is A dot B over the magnitude of B. But we still need we have the magnitude, but we still need the direction. We have this part, we still need this part, the direction. Now notice the direction of our, of our projection is going to be in the same direction as this vector b that we're projecting onto. And what's the direction of vector b? Well, it's going to be the unit vector, right? What's the unit vector for b? Well, it's going to be the magnitude of b, or rather b itself, over the magnitude of b. And so now, if we go ahead and multiply these two guys together, the direction and the magnitude, we're gonna get our final, our final projection. So that's gonna be a dot b, a dot b over the magnitude of b times b over the magnitude of b, ladies and gentlemen. And we're almost there. So what is this gonna simplify to? Well, we're gonna have 
uh, a dot b on the top divided by the magnitude of b squared all times b and that right there ladies and gentlemen is the projection formula thanks for watching and we'll check you out in the next episode of vector calculus